Hello, today I want to make a really quick video showing you how to deploy a Golang application on DigitalOcean using their apps. Their apps feature, I think it's fairly new, it's super, super simple, it's super fast, and they take care of all the hard stuff for you. And you can focus on just writing code. So what I'm looking at right now is a uh, web application that I made, very, very simple. All it does is on the base URL, it returns hello world, and this is serving on port 5555. So if I go right now with the application off to the localhost 5555, you can see there's nothing there. Now if I go really quickly and run this, you'll see that it pops up and shows hello world. As it should, there it goes. Now if I go back to my code editor, one thing I wanna point out is you have to init the Go module. Just run Go mod init with a URL. I use the GitHub URL for this repo and it should give you a go mod file. You need that for DigitalOcean to be able to enter the program. So it's pretty simple. Let me go back to Google Chrome and I'll show you this is the re repository that I've created. So now I'll go to DigitalOcean. I would actually search, if you haven't been there before, you can search digital, digitalocean.com and log in or sign up. It's a pretty simple process and it should end up sending you to a page that looks like this. So that this dashboard, Go ahead and go over to the left hand side and go to apps. And once you're in apps, it'll load. Oh, no internet. Down for a second. There we go. So once you're in the apps, you should get a page that looks like this. You can go ahead and create an app. And you'll have this option between these different uh, you know, different things like Docker, DigitalOcean, Container Registry, etc., GitHub. I'm selecting GitHub uh, and it will normally ask you to log in. I've already done that. And so I've already done the OAuth process. And so I'm not going to have to do, do that again. But again, it's a very simple and straightforward process. So once you've logged in, you're going to be able to select the repository that you want to deploy. And in my case, I want to deploy Go, uh, let's see, deploy, let's see, Go Lang deploy demo right here. And so it, it's going to recognize that this is Go Lang. Uh, my source directory is the base source, is the base directory, and I'm going to set it to auto redeploy every time I make changes to the repo. I'm going to press next, and there we go. So it's setting up an app already. So I'm going to go ahead and press next. This is the only resource I want for now, and for now I don't need any environment variables. Mine is already mine doesn't use any environment var variables, but you're welcome to set these up if you'd like. And then press next. And I'm going to continue pressing next because I don't need very many options. But as you go through and create this, it make, they make it really easy for you to add options in here and choose different types of features and different plans. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the plan because I don't want to pay. Uh, I don't want to pay $24. It's going to set me up on a $12 to $12 uh, CPUs. So it looks like I need to switch to basic, and I want to choose the $5 a month at one container. And that should be good. Now if I go back, it should have saved. Perfect. So it's only going to cost me $5. So I'm going to go ahead and create the resources. And there we go. My Starfish app has been created. And it looks like it's building it at the moment. And I will be back once this is done building. All right, so I actually had a bit of an error while this was deploying. It failed to deploy, and the reason why is because the, uh, let's see, it should be down here somewhere. The, oh, it should be in the components here. The HTTP port was set to 8080 while I was serving on 5555. So as soon as I edited that, it redeployed and it worked this time. So it looks like it's live. Um, and before we go check it out, actually, let's check it out now, why not? So it, they give you a URL here, and here's the base URL, and there's hello world. So anyone can see this now, this is live. I'm gonna close this. Uh, I do wanna point out a few things you can do here that is pretty cool. Uh, the first one is if you come down here, you can set, you can edit all the environment variables. Uh, you, it tells you the number of routes. This is just some more information about the Golang component here. Now go over to app, just kind of explore through here. You'll see I can upgrade my plan, and I can also forward some domains to it so that I can change the domain if I want a custom domain to be, this to be forwarding to a custom domain, or a custom domain forwarding here. 
Um, and so I can set all these different types of stuff here, as well as even connect a database. So if I go up to create, I can create resources from source code, and I can create and attach a database. It looks like it's probably going to cost a few dollars more, but for most applications, that's something that is totally worth the extra $7 if you need it. If I go to actions, you have a bunch of other actions here, and it's pretty simple and self-explanatory to click through and kind of explore. You have logs here, um, and then you can check the activity, the deployment, and some insights into your, your, your usage as well. Your CPU usage, memory, uh, restart count, all that kind of good stuff. And then obviously the overview has some basic information as well. So I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, I actually have a referral link I just created while this was deploying because it doesn't actually seem to help me too much unless you spend quite a bit of money, but it seems like it's gonna get you $200 free for the first six months. So hopefully that'll help you guys. I don't think it really will help me much, but I'll leave a link to that down in the description. And then uh, I'm also going to leave a link to this deployment or this GitHub, even though it's not too helpful to you, but I'll leave it down there just in case. Um, so if the video is helpful, check out some of my other videos and uh, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.